Erythrocyte Sedimentation Rate, Wikipedia Audio The erythrocyte sedimentation rate is the rate at which red blood cells sediment in a period of one hour. It is a common hematology test, and is a nonspecific measure of inflammation. To perform the test, anticoagulated blood was traditionally placed in an upright tube, known as a Westergren tube, and the rate at which the red blood cells fall was measured and reported in mm at the end of one hour. Since the introduction of automated analyzers into the clinical laboratory, the ESR test has been automatically performed. The ESR is governed by the balance between pro-sedimentation factors, mainly fibrinogen, and those factors resisting sedimentation, namely the negative charge of the erythrocytes. When an inflammatory process is present, the high proportion of fibrinogen in the blood causes red blood cells to stick to each other. The red cells form stacks called rouleaux, which settle faster, due to their increased density. Rouleau's formation can also occur in association with some lymphoproliferative disorders in which one or more immunoglobulins are secreted in high amounts. Rouleau's formation can, however, be a normal physiological finding in horses, cats, and pigs. Medical Uses The ESR is increased in inflammation, pregnancy, anemia, autoimmune disorders, infections, some kidney diseases and some cancers. The ESR is decreased in polycythemia, hyperviscosity, sickle cell anemia, leukemia, low plasma protein and congestive heart failure. The basal ESR is slightly higher in females. It can sometimes be useful in diagnosing some diseases, such as multiple myeloma, temporal arteritis, polymyalgia rheumatica, various autoimmune diseases, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease and chronic kidney diseases. In many of these cases, the ESR may exceed 100 mm hour. Newborn, 0 to 2 mm slash H, neonatal to puberty, 3 to 13 mm slash H, but other laboratories place an upper limit of 20. It is commonly used for a differential diagnosis for Kawasaki's disease and it may be increased in some chronic infective conditions like tuberculosis and infective endocarditis. It is also elevated in subacute thyroiditis also known as de Quervain's. Stages in Erythrocyte Sedimentation There are three stages in erythrocyte sedimentation. 1. Stage 1, Rouleau's Formation, First 10 Minutes 2. Stage 2, Sedimentation or Settling Stage, 40 3. Stage 3 Packing stage, 10 minutes. It is a component of the PDA, an index for assessment of severity of inflammatory bowel disease in children. Diagnosis The clinical usefulness of ESR is limited to monitoring the response to therapy in certain inflammatory diseases such as temporal arteritis, polymyalgia rheumatica, and rheumatoid arthritis. It can also be used as a crude measure of response in Hodgkin's lymphoma. Additionally, ESR levels are used to define one of the several possible adverse prognostic factors in the staging of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Note, mm slash h equals millimeters per hour. Westergren's original normal values made no allowance for a person's age. Later studies from 1967 confirmed that ESR values tend to rise with age and to be generally higher in women. Values of the ESR also appear to be slightly higher in normal populations of African Americans than Caucasians of both genders.
values also appear to be higher in anemic individuals than non-anemic individuals. The widely used rule calculating normal maximum ESR values in adults is given by a formula devised in 1983 from a study of 1,000 individuals over the age of 20. Other studies confirm a dependence of ESR on age and gender, as seen in the following. ESR reference ranges from a large 1996 study of 3,910 healthy adults. Normal values of ESR have been quoted as 1 to 2 mm slash H at birth, rising to 4 mm slash H 8 days after delivery, and then to 17 mm slash H by day 14. Disease severity Monitoring response to therapy Typical normal ranges quoted are Normal values Adults children relation to c-reactive protein history c-reactive protein is an acute phase protein produced by the liver during an inflammatory reaction since c-reactive protein levels in the blood rise more quickly after the inflammatory or infective process begins esr is often replaced with c-reactive protein measurement there are specific drawbacks, however, for example, both tests for ESR and CRP were found to be independently associated with a diagnosis of acute maxillary sinusitis so in some cases the combination of the two measurements may improve diagnostic sensitivity and specificity. Several studies investigated the differential diagnostic values of ESR and CRP in inflammatory disease, and concluded ESR is a potential meaningful biomarker for disease differentiation. While ESR and CRP generally together correlate with the degree of inflammation, this is not always the case and results may be discordant. Bone and Joint Infections Research Ischemic stroke Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia Multiple myeloma IgG4-related disease Renal insufficiency Low serum albumin Myocardial infarction Venous thromboembolic disease Rheumatoid arthritis Low serum album The test was invented in 1897 by the Polish pathologist Edmund Biernotsky. In some parts of the world the test continues to be referred to as Biernotsky's reaction. In 1918 the Swedish pathologist Robert Sunofarius declared the same and, along with Alf Wilhelm Albertson Westergren, are eponymously remembered for the Farias Westergren test, which uses sodium citrate anticoagulated specimens. According to a study released in 2015, a stop gain mutation in HBB gene was shown to be associated with ESR values in Sardinian population. The red blood cell count, whose values are inversely related to ESR, is affected in carriers of this SNP. This mutation is almost exclusive of the inhabitants of Sardinia and is a common cause of beta thalassemia.